uh, united we stand and divided we fall. There is a strength in unity. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wa'tasimu bihablillahi jami'an wa la tafarraku. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, وَعَطَسِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says, وَأَمْرُهُمْ شُورًا بَيْنَهُمْ In the first ayah, Allah's command is that you all hold together the rope of Allah, which is the message of Allah, the Quran, and be not divided. In the second ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes how Muslims should work together when they are united, how they should work together. Say, وَأَمْرُهُمْ شُورًا بَيْنَهُمْ And they, their affairs are according to consultation among them. So on these two important principles, on these two important mandates of the Qur'an, the Shura Council was established about 10 years ago. Uh, Shura Council is privileged to be one of the most unique organizations in the entire country because from its very inception, it had been inclusive of all schools of thought and also all ethnicities, which is a unique distinction, not just in California, but in all of the country. There are a lot of issues uh, that needs to be discussed. Among them is the, uh, the relationship, uh, not only between the leaders of the communities, but also uh, the membership of the communities. We have a very large membership uh, of Muslims in Southern California that don't know one another. And we're always quoting a verse from the Quran saying, Allah created us as the nation and tribe so that we can get to know one another. One of the main important goals is to bring more understanding and more respect between the two branches of Islam, which is the Sunni Islam and Shia Islam. And we should emphasize the common ground that we have. We worship one God, we follow one prophet, we face one qibla, we fast during one month, the month of Ramadan, we visit one Kaaba, we pray five times a day. I am very proud of, uh, of being part of that uh, project since its incipiency and I look forward to uh, a future where every uh, mosque or center or active community organization all over the nation is somehow uh, net together in a structure similar to that. And uh, we can do it, we need to do it, and uh, the future is full of opportunities, but also full of challenges, which makes that uh, direction extremely important. On September 11th, United Airlines and American Airlines was painted on the wings of the planes. And that's the difference. This is uh, an enemy, and again, I, I, I hope I don't have to make the disclaimer, we're not talking about Islam itself, we're talking about a, 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 a highly toxic perversion of Islam, but it's there, it exists. And the question that I think not only Americans have, but so many people in the Western world is, is how do we collectively root out this bastardization of Islam? Due to an uh, overwhelming increase in the Islamophobic culture and trend in all segments of the society. Shura Council has been instrumental now in establishing successful relationships with all media outlets, may they be print or audio or video, to be able to be a resource, a valuable resource on issues of Muslims and Islam to the media. Shura should continue doing what it's doing in, sense, in a sense, bringing the, the issues of importance to the whole community together uh, by making sure that everyone is informed, educated, empowered to work on the issues of uh, major, major impact to the community. Uh, while the masjid is doing its work and the Islamic school is doing its work and CARE and MPAC and all the other great organizations, we need one organization that coordinates the effort of all the uh, community organizations together by uh, promoting the unity. Uh, just imagine without Shura Council, uh, this, the simplest things, even, even the, the Eid prayers, the Ramadan, 
uh, the basic activities, the, the basic challenges, whether it's vandalism against masajid, uh, how to uh, protect our Islamic centers and organizations, how to coordinate among the imams, the khutbas, and so on, uh, would not be existing if we didn't have the Shura Council. So it is extremely important to continue to support such a great uh, and important organization. Well, I think it's important for people to know that women are already very active in our community and especially in the Shura Council. I think that the woman's perspective is very important because uh, we have a nurturing way of uh, bringing people together. We also bring the family members together and we are uh, cognizant of the needs of the women in our community and the children in our community and we bring those to the table with that perspective in mind and that's very important to our community. You know, th there's a Supreme Court justice that says that our Bill of Rights is just something on paper and they're not realized unless you have a constituency that is able to move public opinion to secure your rights. So we need a constituency in, in order to ensure our First Amendment rights here in the United States of America, our civil liberties. And therefore, the work of the Muslim Public Affairs Council cannot uh, realize the goals uh, of achieving civil liberties without the help uh, and the close association with the Shura Council. The Shura Council provides the coordination, the cooperation, and really the thrust of our work. And through that, we can have avenues for dialogue, both in terms of intra-faith and inter-faith, and with the American public on these important issues. They want to promote understanding and peace between Islam and people of other faiths. Eyewitness News reporter Amy Powell took advantage of Open Mosque Day. She filed this report. Allah. Daily prayers, an important part of Islamic faith. Today, the Islamic Center of Hawthorne and more than 30 other Southern California mosques invited visitors in for an open house, an opportunity to educate people about the role of mosques in the lives of Muslims and promote understanding. To dispel the myths and fallacies about Muslims and Islam, Shura Council initiated this program called Open Mosque Day few years ago and now it has become one of the most popular and successful programs throughout Southland where people of all faith groups and ethnicities come to the mosque to learn about Muslims and Islam in their own setting. Shura Council's jurisdiction is in all of LA County and all of Orange County. As a result, we were successful in establishing and leading now two major law enforcement organizations, namely Muslim American Homeland Security Congress for the LA County and Muslim Arab American Law Enforcement Network for the Orange County. The purpose of these organizations is simply to help our Muslim communities to remain protected and secure and safe in their environments with the help of and in collaboration with the law enforcement agencies who have pledged to serve the community at large, including Muslims. I'm very proud of the Shura Council of Southern California I want to announce to you how important the Shura Council has been in forming the Muslim American Homeland Security Congress, which is a national organization to promote a tremendous amount of understanding and goodwill amongst all of us in the United States.